Hello, and welcome to Tides Account of Foods. My name is Amy, and I am a service counter and a office worker as a counter at night. I am here to talk to you about customer service and your orientation on your first day. I'm going to provide you with a little information on the store. Our store is one of six locations in northeastern Wisconsin and northern Michigan. Our store owner is Jim Toddick. We are the main grocery store in Brilliant, and we sell our family brand product as long as the big name products that you find at any other grocery store. What we are here today is to introduce one of the managers, which you will meet later on today in your orientation. We're going to talk about customer service and why it's important, and your duties and responsibilities as a cashier. First, let's introduce the managers. Our first store manager. Our first manager is our store owner, which is Jim Toddick. He's only here a few days a week and is more than willing to meet with any cashier or any worker within the store. Our next person is our store manager, Kevin Bodo. He is one of the friendliest guys as a manager that you will meet. Our next person is... Brian Brevey, he is our assistant store manager. Also, we have Doreen Spacek, who is our head of personnel. She's the person that hired you, and she deals with all of our paychecks. Next is Angela Schimmick. She is the head of cashiers, and will be dealing with your schedule and training you. And finally, all of our, your night lockups and managers and service counter personnel are over you. They will tell you what to do throughout the day and make sure that everything that needs to get done gets done in the store and helps run the store smoothly. Why is customer service important? Customer service is important because it is the thing that drives people to come back to Econo Foods. We are the main grocery store in Brilliant, but we also have Appleton and Nina and Manitowoc and uh, Shilton where people can go to Walmart and get their groceries. So why do people come to Econo Foods? People come to Econo Foods because we're the people with the smile on our face. So, without the customer, none of us would have jobs. Treat the customer with respect, even if the customer does not treat you with respect. Just because the customer is having a bad day, they may start taking it out on you. Don't take this like a chip on your shoulder. Let it slide off of you. It's one person. They may be just having a bad day. They may have had a bad experience. Ask them how they're doing. We also have the 10-foot rule. The 10 foot rule is one of the most important things that we could talk about. If a customer is within 10 feet of you, greet the customer. Ask the customer if there's anything that they need help finding. If there is something that they need help finding, bring the customer to that project. If they want to order something, direct them to the manager that's on duty. There's always a manager on duty. If not, send them to the service counter. The service counter person will help them. If you know where the product is in the store, take them to the take them to that product. But also tell the service counter person where you're going so we're not looking for you. If there's no issues, continue on your way with whatever you're doing. We also have many options to help the customer make shopping more enjoyable. We offer parcel pickup, especially on rainy days and when the snow starts to fly. We also carry out their groceries every day of the year. It, ask every customer that has two or more bags in their cart if they want help carrying out their groceries today. It goes a long way and sometimes even if you don't think that they're going to want help carrying something out, they're going to want help carrying something out. We do all the bagging for the customer. A rule of thumb to follow is if there is 20 or more items on the belt, call a bagger. If the customer asks for paper, call a bagger. That's what the baggers are there for. 
We do not want the customer waiting for their groceries to be bagged. By the time we finish the transaction, the groceries should be bagged and they should be able to go on their way. Duties and responsibilities of a cashier. Check the spindle every day before you go out. If there's going to be a problem, it's generally happened to somebody and we've come up with a solution for that problem. Read the spindle because the solution is going to be on that spindle. If not, there's going to be a note on the door to get to your till. And it will say, see Angela, see one of the service counter people, and we'll explain to you what's going on. Talk to your customer. Ask your customer for the more card. Ask if they have any coupons. Ask if how the customer's doing. Even if they're having a lousy day, it's going to cheer them up that just that little bit. Just know that somebody does care about them. A little goes a long way. Also, explain any promotions that we have going at the store on at the store. Currently, as it is the holiday season, we have holiday bucks going on, which is if you purchase thirty or more dollars for every thirty dollar increment of groceries you purchase, you get fifty cents towards uh that you can use towards a whole turkey or a half or a whole ham. These need to be used by December thirty first. And it will help, in essence, for that customer to be able to get a free whole turkey or whole or half ham. Thank the customer at the end of each day and wish them a good day. Believe me, it goes a long way and it will cheer a customer up even if they are having a bad day. And be sure to ask if they want help carrying out their groceries to the car. Be efficient when you're checking out a customer. Although we do want you to talk to the customer, don't over talk a customer. Be sure that you're being aware of your surroundings and seeing if you have a line. If you don't have a line, you can talk a little bit longer. If not, be sure to end your conversation with the transaction. If there's a lot of groceries on the belt, call a bagger. If there's another large cart in line, call a bagger. Start memorizing price lookups or PLUs. They will help speed up a transaction. Your most common PLU that you'll look up and that you'll hear today is 4011. That's the PLU for bananas. Everybody at the store knows this. Keep yourself busy. When you do not have a customer, you can clean your register because nobody wants to set their greeting card in a big pile of blood that just came off of the next or the last customer's things of meat. Work on a nightly cleaning list when our end of the store is in busy. If there's no lines, you can start working on cleaning the stuff. If the nightly cleaning list doesn't get done, it doesn't get done. But make that effort. And you also have to have permission from the service counter to be able to start working on it. Work on the weekly cleaning list if it's earlier in the day, before 3 o'clock. It's stuff that doesn't need to be done, but it's stuff that it's good if it does get done. If they don't want you leaving your register, Check your candy. Check your belt. Sometimes customers leave weird things of food. They might leave a yogurt in with the candy or they might leave lettuce at the end of the register. Be sure to check this because if these products get warm, we can't sell them to another customer. And if we're really slow, a night lockup will ask you to face Jello or baby food as it's easy for us to do this since we have smaller hands. Do we have any questions? So in conclusion, it doesn't take much to succeed at Econo Foods. We want to work together to help the customer. Be sure to keep your area neat and clean. Help out wherever is needed in the store and relax. You will do just fine.